welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming another Will I Bite video. I have been so bad about consistently uploading these every two weeks or so. I don't know where the time goes, but I swear it just is flying. So I do apologize for the inconsistencies. I really do enjoy filming this type of video. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. We're gonna go ahead and talk about some new makeup releases. I do wanna quickly let you guys know I am wearing Morphe True Story today. I get so many questions on swatches or like showing you guys this shade on my skin tone. So here it is. I just wanted to mention that this is the lipstick I'm wearing in this video in case you guys are curious. And the palette I have on my eyes today is a new palette that I picked up for March and you guys will see a low buy update situation on my channel soon but yeah I did pick this up in March so it won't be in my February haul but I am so into drugstore makeup right now and today I use the shade Spruced Up and the shade Sahara and the shade Can't Kelp It on my eyes and I'm really happy with how this look turned out. I am wearing a Terra Moon chameleon shadow on the lid but before I put that on Sahara was doing a great job holding it down and I am honestly pretty shocked I haven't used all these shades yet but 14 bucks I am impressed I'm thinking about just like turning my channel into a green eyeshadow palette channel because you guys where are all these green palettes coming from? It's insane. So anyway, I will link the channels and Instagram accounts I use to film this video in my description box if you guys are curious. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I see on here is a new Essence collection. It's called Bloom Baby Bloom. And it's really adorable. It's giving me, you know, spring vibes for sure. And the palette itself looks a little bit nicer than usual with their palettes like it looks like it's a little bit well put together and they have some yummy looking lip balms some highlighters some blush lights and lip glosses so it looks like a very fun spring collection i haven't really dabbled too too much in um, Essence, I know I've tried a few of their products, especially the mascaras, because so many people on YouTube rave about their mascaras, uh, but other than that, not too much, and uh, since I'm technically still on a low buy, I won't be picking that up, but I do think that is a cute collection, especially if you're on a budget. The next thing I see on here is the Pure Cosmetics and Trolls collab. So I was never really into Trolls, but I do think some of these are really cute. I haven't really tried, I don't know, I've tried the Pure Foundation, but I haven't really tried too much from Pure, so I can't really say, but that blue palette is kind of attractive. It has some beautiful shimmer shades, and I like that they did some cool color stories, like, you know, that, like, gray with the red. It looks very different for Pure, and so, yeah, I think this is really cool. Another collection I won't be purchasing from, but... I like it. So next is a new collection from BH Cosmetics and they came out with two palettes, the color Viva Vivaci, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Vivaci, uh, inspired by Italian Summer and then Romantic Nomad which is a mix of cool tones and some warm tones. I think both these palettes are really fun. I really like that Nomad, the Romantic Nomad, I, you guys know anything that has a grungy green shade just immediately catches my attention. So I thought these were cute. I definitely did go on BH's website and look at them, but I'm trying to stay strong. I've done a lot of really naughty things in February as well as March. So I'm trying to still at least, at least hold on to not buying from BH Cosmetics. So yeah, anyway, so the next thing on here is the new Too Faced Instant Coverage Matte Concealer. And basically, it's like a peach perfect concealer. And they're also going to do a concealer brush. I thought when they originally came out with this brush, I thought it was the cutest thing ever. They originally did a powder brush with like the little bow tie, and I thought it was so adorable. But you guys, I'm so 
It's so weird because I love cheap brushes but or like Sonia G brushes, like $160, you know what I mean? So there's no like in-between. So for me, like spending $22 on a concealer brush is like insanity. Um, so I won't be buying it. But of course, you know Too Faced, they're pretty good at like sneaking in the cute packaging. And I know that definitely gets people. So the next release I see is Revlon's new collaboration with, with Ashley Graham. I really like Ashley Graham. I think she's a very, you know, good role model from what I know of her. God only knows somebody will comment like some controversy that she was in and I'll be like, oh my god, I had no idea. But she seems like a really chill person. This palette, you know, it's got the pop of blue effect. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for a good pop of blue. And I've been really, like, into drugstore makeup lately. I'm a little bit shook. Like, you guys know I really love my high-end eyeshadow palettes. And so, I like, this e.l.f. palette, like, I'm... What's happening to me? But I'm not complaining at all. I love that I really don't discriminate. As long as it's a good product, I don't care what price it is. I don't care who made it like I really love that about myself I'm I love neutrals I love color so I feel like I really hit my balance when it comes to stuff like that but yeah I mean who knows this might be awesome and we're all sleeping on it so we'll see I'm I'm sure I'll see a review or something uh, but I'm not planning on buying that this I'm really curious about <laughs> I don't know why I just really want a natural highlight and this sounds really cool this is the fenty beauty glow matchstick and it basically is a sheer iridescent glow it like is that glass skin thing i don't know i feel like rihanna usually does like cool innovative things her launches aren't very huge she does like a little bit at a time which i think is really really interesting so this is definitely something i will be picking up when it comes out i think i'm really really curious to see what that's all about so the next big announcement of of the year I feel like is that ABH is bringing their Nicole Guerrero glow kit back and I don't know I think this is interesting because I swear I saw ABH put up a poll and they posted the glow kit the Mario palette and the ABH X Amrezy highlighter and they had people vote and I'm kind of shocked that this is the thing that won which makes me think that I don't know it's it's weird right because I constantly hear people say oh my gosh I wish they would re-release the makeup by Mario palette or the Amrezy highlighter but I never hear people say oh I wish they'd bring back the Nicole Guerrero glow kit so I'm a little bit like suspicious about that to be very honest and I bought the original glow kit when it came out and I have it and it's nice but it's on my Poshmark because I didn't consistently go back and reach for it. So it's really funny because I posted today that they're relaunching it. And some of you asked me if I thought it was worth it. And I was like, honestly, like if you're my skin tone, there's a few shades that work, but not all of them will work um, for tan skin. And then you're just sitting with a six pan highlighter palette that you can't use all the shades. So I think it would have made way more sense if they bought the Emreezy highlighter back. I think that is way more suitable for many different kinds of skin tones. Um, so I'm really puzzled why they're bringing the Nicole Guerrero palette back. I would be really curious to hear from you guys what your thoughts are. Um, if you guys want to see a new video, I can definitely do one. Maybe I can just swatch it and try it out or something and turn that into a video for you guys in case you're trying to decide. I know I featured it in a video or two back in the day in 2017 when it came out, but who knows? Who knows? So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know it'll be back. Oh, it'll be back on March 5th, so I won't even get to do a video um, by that time, but I know I saw that Sephora is going to carry it too, uh, so yeah, there's that. The next thing I'm so curious about, and I haven't watched any videos on this, I want to. I know my friend Britt Clark did a video on this product, and she loves the original, so I'm talking about the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, and it's oil-free, and it is a primer, basically, to give fresh satin finish infused with 
blah, 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 blah. It's $52, so that's the other reason why I haven't jumped on it. If you guys know me, you know I don't really use primer at all. I just moisturize my skin and go to town with my like foundation and stuff. My skin has not been doing so hot recently. I, I jump started my period like a month or two ago and it feels like my skin just like plummeted down from there. It's not I'm not complaining it's not the worst thing in the world by any means um, but yeah I've been definitely experiencing like less than perfect skin and it's pretty shocking to me but um, I'm curious to see if a primer would help me I also really 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 want to find a new moisturizer I've tried so many things and it just doesn't feel like I've found the perfect hydrating moisturizer for myself yet so if you guys have any like recommendations for dry skin and cold weather, definitely help me out in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys use for dry, dry skin. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the new blushes that Persona Cosmetics are coming out with. There's a shade called Georgia and a shade called Caramel. And I saw Kelly Gooch, I think, receive these in PR and they looked really beautiful. I'm on a serious blush kick, so if you guys, I don't know why, I really want to find like the perfect neutral blush. And I even found myself like googling like perfect blush for medium skin tones, um, like a neutral blush. And so I'm so curious because... I haven't really like felt like I found, I mean I have a lot of like glowy neutral blushes but now I kind of want like a matte neutral blush. I should just go through my blush drawers. I sound like such an idiot because I'm going to waste money buying something when I'm sure I have something in my drawers so I should really just go through them. But these blushes do look really nice. I haven't really bought anything from Persona. I did buy her neutral palette that she came out with but I think I gave it away in like a giveaway or it's in my giveaway drawer because I I don't want to like waste it and like use it once and then never touch it again. But I've heard so many good things about Persona Cosmetics. It seems like so many people really enjoy the brand so it's cool to see them coming out with some new products. And then Drunk Elephant is expanding to body care and it looks like also hair care is what I saw. So. They've got a silly body lotion, um, deodorant cream, um, body cleanser, um, scalp scrub, shampoo, uh, tangle spray, all kinds of stuff. So I don't see price points on here. The packaging is adorable, of course. Drunk Elephant for me is one of those skincare lines. I haven't tried a ton, but I feel like I've given it a decent shot and I wasn't really into anything that they came out with. So I'm definitely gonna be passing on um, all of that stuff. I'm really not that into it. Okay, so Natasha Denona is coming out with a flip with the face glow cream shimmer and these are illuminating cream stick perfectly fused to skin for a glow that seems to come from within i'm so about that right now i love a very natural glow and these are i'm so curious about them because natasha denona typically doesn't do anything wrong so very very curious but i know myself and i know i won't reach for something like this i'll probably like play with it a few times and then i would get really like over it really fast so i'm curious to see like if my friends pick it up i will be waiting for videos but i'm not planning on jumping on that right away okay the next thing i want to talk about this is so funny because um the original palette the sugar pill capsule collection this is now the second one they've launched it's more of like a peachy themed palette and i don't know what it is again i think i'm so into that pop of blue effect so that shade skyrise is just like calling to me luckily it sold out because it was on the Ulta website and it sold out so I can't get my hands on it but I don't know it's that blue shade it's really calling to me so I'm excited to see if somebody reviews it but if not I'm not gonna like lose my mind over it now here's something I was going back and forth about but I think I'm at least gonna buy one of these palettes I'm talking about the Huda Beauty mini pastel palette so she's coming out with three of them rose lilac and mint these are already available on her site they're on sephora but they say coming soon so i'm just like waiting for them because spoiler alert for march or technically this is a february purchase but i did cave and 
I'm so ashamed because I was so proud of myself for not buying anything from ColourPop this year so far, but um, they were doing a $9 sale on their nine pan palettes and I've been kind of lusting after the mint to be palette, so I did buy it, which is really cringe and I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I bought it. <laughs> so you guys can ring the shame bell, but I really wanna, I really wanna compare the two. So I think I'm gonna get the pastel um, mint palette from Huda Beauty as well. I've had, you know, pretty good luck with her. It's back and forth. Some of them I really like, like her nudes. I really like the mini rich nude palette I got, but yeah, like her original mini palettes I didn't like so it's always like back and forth and then I hated the neon ones so you guys get it it's pretty hit or miss okay this I'm really excited about I think listen Mor Morphe has done some really shady questionable things but I can give credit where credit is due and I'm really pumped about this new bronzer selection they came out with they came out with 10 shades again is 10 a lot no but 10 is more than most brands have and i think it's really cool that they offered a little bit of variety for different skin tones even me i have such a hard time finding bronzers because i love to look bronze and i've always complained about the lack of options for bronzing for my skin tone and I'm sure there's so many skin tones that have the same issue so I'm really excited to see that they came out with multiple shades and those bronzers are huge and they're $19 each I know I checked on the Ulta website and it looks like my Ulta in town here carries the bronzer so I'm hoping to get a chance to stop into the store and check them out because I'm not sure I think they have like five shades at Ulta so I want to see them in person before I buy one but I just thought that was really cool. As far as the palette that they came out with, I really just like those two bright yellow and mustardy yellow in the palette. Um, so I don't really get that, but whatever, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. So next, the KKW Mrs. West collection restock. I'm sure it's probably already sold out because so many people were eyeing this thing. I heard people mentioning it in their Will I Bite videos and honestly I definitely am still continuing to take a break from the KKW Beauty line. I bought her collection with Mario the round two and I wasn't really ecstatic about it once I saw the products in person so I'm happy to be taking a break from the brand but it's always nice to see them bringing people's favorites back so in case they missed it the first couple of times they can pick it up on a restock which is nice. Lethal Cosmetics launched their first collaboration and it's so cool to see them on Trend Moods page, I'm sure that's like great exposure for a brand. So they collab with Jolina, I think is how you say it. And it was so funny because I'm gonna sound like such a like not very intelligent person here, but it was so interesting to watch somebody's announcement video in a different language because I had no idea what she was saying. And it's just crazy how we take that stuff for granted. Like Every collab is with somebody that speaks English or English is their first language in their channel and like I was just like whoa this is a really interesting experience because I was like wow it would be really nice to know like what inspired the shades but I couldn't understand so I don't know if there's like I don't know if there was some place that they explained all of that somewhere in like a language that I spoke so I could like get into it but because I wasn't able to get that connection to this launch I didn't feel persuaded to buy it so I hope you guys don't like I'm not I'm not trying to be mean I'm just explaining like how that like psychology worked for me and I didn't even realize it until I started talking about it right now it's like if you don't connect with it then you're not really drawn to it so I think this is beautiful a lot of you said in my community page that this felt like an ABH palette and for me it reminds me a lot of the Cindy Grace Autumn Rain palette because it had like that green, the blue, the purple so I definitely have those shades in my collection already and I'm okay with passing on it but I think it's awesome that Lethal collabed and I wish them nothing but well wishes. I think that was really really cool that they chose somebody that's from like a different part of the world. I think that's awesome. 
So, Lime Crime came out with a fairy garden collection. This is like a hodgepodge of things. I don't really know too much about Lime Crime's product offering, to be very honest. So, they have these like shimmery eyeshadows, they have some body lights, which are cream body highlighters, um, wet cherry glosses, unicorn hair, so like a hair color, and then a hair glitter mist. So, lots of exciting stuff. I did pick up one thing from Lime Crime in February and I really enjoy it. So if you guys want to see what that is, you definitely have to check out my haul video. But yeah, just a little sneak peek type thing for you guys. I did pick something up from Lime Crime this. Okay, so Makeup Forever is coming out with a new lipstick formula, 60 different shades and wow, okay, these are interesting. They look like a Pen I don't get it. Is that the t oh. It's interesting because 60 shades that sounds so impressive, but I don't know. I really like the more capsule collection type lipstick launches because I don't know. Does anybody really like get satisfaction from going to like a Mac store anymore and like seeing all the lipsticks out there and like I don't know. I feel like we're going away from like everyone having that one MAC lipstick that they use like you know so I think fewer nicer curated collections is where makeup forever should be at but whatever so Sigma is collabing with the makeup artist Jordan Liberty and they're coming out with some brushes somebody did say something about the fact that there's like a shield so it's gonna waterproof the brushes, which I think is really cool. I think Samantha March mentioned that, so that like your brush ferrule can't get wet, um, which typically people say like, that's why you have to like lay your brushes flat when you wash them so that the water doesn't like seep back into the ferrule. Um, so I think that's really cool. It's kind of shocking that it took so long for a, like a brush brand to come up with that idea. I mean, seems pretty like, you know, no brainer, but also maybe they want you to fuck up your brushes because then you just buy more, so who the fuck knows. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, they look cool. They're probably really expensive. $249. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> Sorry, come again. Okay. Next. Okay, this brand is cool. Sand and Sky Australia. They actually sent me a little care package with some mas masks and stuff. I was really pumped. I've been using it here and there. I should probably put some on since my skin is not doing so hot. But anyway, they did come out with a pink clay smoothing body sand 4-in-1 formula deeply detox, smooth, moisture, and illuminate. I honestly don't exfoliate my body. Um, I probably should, but I do use a loofah, so... I feel like that should do the trick. I know a lot of people like to exfoliate that like self tan and stuff. I don't do that. So I don't really feel like I need to exfoliate. But it looks cool. I don't know. I feel like I should talk about it because they were nice enough to send me something. So just thought I'd mention it. Okay, so you owe Yuma 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 Blair uh, Uma. Uma? I know they're a black owned brand and they launched, I think last year at Ulta. They just came out with the Black Magic Carnival collection. I've honestly not heard good things about this brand. I feel like from the reviews I've seen, people said they did really like the eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that. This color story is very attractive, but unfortunately I'm just not like feeling it. So I will be passing on it. But let me know if you guys have tried the brand and what your thoughts are. I'm always curious to hear what you guys think about this stuff as well. So Zoeva is launching some new, I think they said they were like skin powder or something, but they definitely do look like highlighters. They have a beautiful like baked gelée delicious vibe to them. And honestly, if they had more colors, I'd be more drawn to them. But I think the bronze one is too dark, the pink one is too pink, and the yellow one is too yellow. It looks like the Kilowatt highlighter in what is the very yellow one she came out with so i didn't like that one so i know i won't like this one um so i'm passing on them but if you've tried it i'd be really curious to know your thoughts okay this is funny i feel like everyone i know has like dragged the shit out of this this is the glossier sky wash sheer matte lid tint i you guys this is like the makeup i wore to work today so 
I couldn't even say like, oh, I could wear this to work because I would never. I just wear what makeup I like to wear um, to work. And, you know, every day is the same in Karen Harris land. So definitely not interested in that. But I think it's so funny. Jue is coming out with two new blush. There's a light shade and a dark shade. So there's Passion and Darling. I don't know which one is which. But I don't know. It's like... The dark shade seems really dark and the light shade, light shade seem really light. And the ones that they already have in their collection seem like they're too light for me as well. So I've just never been drawn to the blush bouquets. I know some of my friends rave about the blush bouquets, but I just refuse to buy something that I don't think is going to work for me. So yeah, passing on that. MAC launched their Cherry Blossom collection. It has that really pretty powder. What is that stuff called? It's the Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in Lightscape. Definitely looks too light for me, but that marbling is, of course, beautiful, and I'm sure it's sucking many, many of you in. The brand Way, which is a celebrity hairstylist, Jen Atkins hairline, came out with some new shampoos and conditioners, and I'm honestly low-key super like curious about this because the shampoos are categorized by hair density so she has one for fine she has one for medium she has one for thick hair which I think is really interesting because hopefully it means like the like so I have I feel like pretty thick hair but I actually have my hairstylist thin my hair because the weight of my hair is insane when I have a full head of hair and I can feel my hair thickening up so then I know it's time to go get a haircut. So I think it would be really interesting if somebody did a thick, a thick hair shampoo but also made it a little less hydrating because I feel like because of the amount of hair I have and because of the type of scalp I have, my hair gets really greasy. But I guess I've heard people with really thin hair complain about that too. I'm really hoping that this is some kind of magical like make your hair less greasy type situation but we'll see we'll see <laughs> who knows i will wait for comments and reviews so next this is you know mark jacobs i don't get them and their little deodorant bronzer sticks i don't i don't get it okay so linda halberry is coming out with a new product this is a liquid eyeshadow formula that dries within seconds and you can use it on your eyes, lips, face, and body. This looks really cool. So I think basically it's like a very light wash of sparkle and I think you can also use it as a topper. So you can like, like today I did my eyeshadow with this palette but then I used a Terra Moon Chameleon as like to amp up the lid shade so I think that's the vibe of this and I think that's really cool because it can really take your looks to another level so that's that's pretty awesome I think okay guys so the next big launch that I haven't covered yet is the Colourpop and Sailor Moon collection launch so this one definitely spoke to so many people that enjoy this TV show. I have to say I'm one of the few that didn't watch the show Sailor Moons. I have no idea who any of these people are. That being said, I was on... I was trying to buy some something else launched that same day. Was it the... Um, was it the Jeffree Star collection? I think it was. And so I bought my Jeffree Star palette, like a cool little cucumber, and then I went over to ColourPop, and I was like, ooh! And I like added stuff to my cart, and I could have probably purchased it, but I didn't. So it was really funny that like people were having trouble buying the collection. So I hope they restock, because it sounds like a ton of people still want to pick up stuff from the Sailor Moon collection. I think the eyeshadow palette is cute, but the thing I realized with ColourPop is just I don't use my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes enough. So it was really great that I stayed away from them for two months-ish. And then I came and bought the Mint to Be. But at least it wasn't like the newest palette. And like I was literally buying ColourPop like every week just because they were coming out with something new. So I was part of the problem. I, I can acknowledge that. Uh, but it's nice that I've now found, you know, growth and stuff and... I don't just keep buying everything I I see these days, which is quite the improvement. So I totally caved on this. This is so funny as I'm like sitting here talking about growth and shit. So I... 
This, this palette I'm blaming on my friend, Makeup Just For Fun, Amanda, here on YouTube and Instagram. She has been raving about this Bretman Rocks and Wet n Wild collab. And I've put this palette, I shit you not, in and out of my cart so, so many times. And I wasn't going to get it. And then I, like... It was paid in and it was like $17 with shipping and I was like sure let me try it because I'm into drugstore eyeshadow palettes now look at me so I'm really curious that one green shade like speaks to my soul I don't venomous I think it's called I don't know maybe it'll be the biggest disappointment of this palette but I am very very curious to investigate that so if you guys want to hear a tan girls you know commentary on that palette let me know because I am down to review it for you guys another thing I did pick up is the good molecules new caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches this was such a good price they're like 18 bucks for 60 patches and I have such dry under eyes that I thought let me try these out and see because I've been looking at so many other brands and so many people rave about good molecules, so I'm very, very excited. I did try them out once. I didn't experience anything like mind-blowing, but I think that's my fault because I should probably be a little bit more consistent and use them a little bit more often than once. So hopefully, yeah, I can report back on that. Let me know if you guys picked it up. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts as well. Okay, so Milani is collabing with Salt and Pepper. I just thought this was the most weird like eyeshadow palette this could go down as like the these these two palettes could go down as like some of the ugliest palettes of of 2020 if i'm being honest i know it's supposed to look like a cd i get it i'm not like that young but still i don't know it's, it's so weird i don't know i don't know it's yeah sorry if you liked it i'm sorry i'm not trying to bash I just didn't love it. Okay, this is another thing, you guys. I need somebody to talk me out of this. So, um, I've never been interested in Olimar Cosmetics, and now all of a sudden I'm just like, ooh, I want to try that bronzer. I'm in, like, the mood, you know? So I, like, added all this stuff in my cart, and I was like, nay, nay. <laughs> um, nay, nay, I say. <laughs> so I did close the browser and run in the other direction but I'm very very curious about Olimar. I didn't love her eyeshadow palette so I haven't been drawn to the brand in a long long time but I'd be curious to hear what you guys think if you've tried anything from the brand and if I should pick it up or not. Okay guys and last but certainly not least is the Jeffree Star new collection. He did a purple collection and it was the Bloodlust collection. It was palette number three of the Blood Sugar Blue Blood line. And yeah, I did actually pick that up. Spoiler alert. I can't remember if I talked about this in my Will I Buy It video from like four weeks ago. But here is the palette. I've used this palette twice so far. And I don't know. I've just been like bopping around using other things. So I really do need to like pay full attention to this palette and you know really really test it out which is why you guys haven't seen it on my channel yet but yeah I really really enjoyed so far playing with pink magic was gorgeous and I did like a beautiful purple look on my Instagram stories or you guys would have seen it on my Instagram stories so I'm not disappointed with this palette by any means um, and you guys can look forward to more looks hopefully with it but yeah okay guys that is everything for this will i buy it video thank you so much for hanging out with me i will try and make sure i do these more frequently because i know you guys enjoy them and i really enjoy making them they are my favorite video to film and i don't know it's been really weird i feel like i'm not really that interested by new releases like i usually post like new releases on my community tab so we can talk about it but there's nothing that's really like caught my attention either like really um but yet here i sit with a pile of makeup in front of me and i'm about to film my february haul so i don't really know what's going on like karen get it together <laughs> but yeah i hope i will catch you guys in my next video soon i do upload every other day so if you see this video on let's say the 8th of March. You can catch my next video on March 10th. So we'll see you next time. Bye guys.